And I've got a tablet here I can show you that uh, same application on. This is looking at some MR scans that we have most. So here's some uh, scans that I'm able to fly through. These are very high resolutions. The scans are actually streaming over the wireless connection to this device. So as I'm flying through this, it's actually doing this uh, over the net and live. And I can zoom in. So I'm going to pick the little zoom tool. And I can do a little uh, pinch zoom here. And I can actually go in on this scan here. And we can get a, a closer look at, at these eyes and this nose. So this, this application is, is really, really cool. And I kind of forgot to say what device that I'm showing here. So let me show you what I'm actually using here. This is the BlackBerry Playbook. And this is the first time. <laughs> this is the first time that this tablet's actually been shown uh, running live in public here. And we can just go out of this application into the OS. And um, we're even more fortunate to have the co-CEO and, and founder of Research in Motion, Mike Lazaridis, with us here today to talk about the playbook. Mike, it's great to have you here. Thanks great for joining to see us. you, Kevin. Good to see you, too. Thanks for having us here today. So that's a, you, you've been talking today about um, you know, how magazines are being transformed right. and how your tools are used um, to create you know, the, the next generation in sort of content. Um, one of the things that we've, obviously we're working together on that, but right. one of the things we've focused on together has been this, this idea of how do we get the um, Flash developers um, and how do we get that air platform to be right. something that, that people can write to right. and go beyond just content? Right. right. And you saw that first. I mean, that's a very sophisticated application yes. running on the device. And it's the same application that was running on the PC. That's right. And so that's, that's an exciting new ch change. And you know, when we talk about how our, um, our enterprise customers want to leverage the BlackBerry platform, well, the Adobe customers want to learn how to leverage their tool sets and their experience and their content. And we put that all together exactly. in the playbook. Because what we've done is we've worked together to really embed air right to the metal into the operating system. So yep. we've done a lot of things together yep. to really make that work. So yep. if I can just... I'm um, excited about the work. I think this is going to be a great platform for doing uh, air app development. So, you know, this is... You just saw some content. You saw some pictures. In, in our media viewer, well, what you don't know is the media viewer is written in air. Right? So, and... So what we've done, though, is we've worked together to make sure that we, we not only put, got all of air in there, right. but we've linked the air into our multitasking environment. So you can be running other applications at the same time. We can at any time call up and bring up uh, a new application. Now what I've just done there is I've launched another air app. This air app is our video player. OK, cool. And we can go in here and we can now pull in high definition video. So here's oh. high definition video running in a media player that uses air as its interface. Mm -hmm. And this so is using the, the same uh, stage video, basically the stage video innovation first on tablets, though. This is the first That's tablet right. to do that. And mm -hmm. while this is running, um, you can see that all the other apps are running too. So, so you can see that it's all multitask. And this yes. is, it's this not is dropping very off, different right? from. Great. Yeah, it's hot. Uh, we've gone even further because we've been talking about this for a while. You know, we're not. We're not trying to dumb down the internet for a small mobile device. That's right. What we're trying to do is bring up the performance and capability of the mobile device to the internet. And so what we've done is we've worked together close, closely to put right. Flash 10.1 player exactly. inside our browser with full stage video. So, so you can see the whole web. That's right. Good. We'll go to internet, we'll pull up the browser, and there's the, the actual YouTube site. It's not a YouTube app. It's the regular PC actual, web page. Yes, yeah. that's right. You might be familiar with this uh, video. <laughs> so again, that's HD quality video running. In this case, that's via right. YouTube, Flash Player onto this tablet. That's great. That's really cool. One of the things I'm excited about, too, is how we've we made these applications run consistently across OSs, but we've also taken advantage of, of the OS. So you can do notifications, for example. That's right. You can integrate with the, the system underneath and really take advantage of the capabilities of the playbook. So when can people get this? I, you know, I want one. Can I have this one, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, you did such a great job with that uh, Unity application. I think you should have one. Yeah. Um, so 
one of the things that we've done, today we're launching the BlackBerry Playbook SDK for Adobe Air. So that the developers can start developing their applications for the playbook, using their Air tools, using their experience, using their Adobe tools. And, you know, and, and the other thing that I just wanted to mention, yeah. if, uh, you know, if, if you need any more encouragement to develop Air applications for playbook, um, you know, if you write an, a new Air application and it's accepted to BlackBerry App World, um, you'll be eligible for a free BlackBerry or a free BlackBerry Playbook.